bet you're starting to find and discover that things are getting tougher. There is nothing easy about dementia. There's nothing structured about dementia. There's not much sense about dementia. So I'm glad you're here because I've got some answers for you. Welcome to Answers About Alzheimer's. I'm your host, Deborah Castu, and I've got your back. Alzheimer's and dementia sucks. Plain and simple, it sucks. It's not fair, and I know what you're going through. My mom had Alzheimer's disease, and I've also worked with hundreds and hundreds of families trying to get through some really, really difficult situations, quite possibly the most difficult times of their lives. Stay strong, my friend, and know that I will always be here for you, to guide you and help you through everything you may encounter. Times might be tough, but I know you're tougher. Today, we're gonna talk about stage four of the seven stage model of dementia. And this series is based on the GDS or the Global Deterioration Scale. Hopefully, you've already watched the first three videos in the series and you have a pretty good understanding of what the GDS or Global Deterioration Scale model is. So, if you recall, stages one through three are considered pre-dementia stages. Four through seven are considered the dementia stages. Stage four is defined as moderate cognitive decline. So this is where things to start to get a little sticky. This is where things are starting to get real, right? Yeah. Type sticky in the comments for me. By now, things have progressed and you've realized this is not going to be easy. And you're probably sensing that you might be getting out of your league. But don't panic. Don't panic. Remember, you've got me now. So take a breath. Focus at the task at hand. We've got this. Together. Speaking of together, hit that subscribe button. Where's my little subscribe sign? Oh, it's way over there. Um, but if you're not in the family yet, subscribe. You're going to want these videos to be in your feed. It's all about making your life easier. So hit subscribe. We want you to be in our exclusive group. And I've got the best of the best viewers and new and amazing friendships. I've met many of you personally and it means so much to me to hear every day how your lives are changing because of the commitment we have to each other. I can't tell you how much you all mean to me. We have laughed together and cried together, but mostly we celebrate the incredible wins when you're implementing the strategies. Damn, I am so proud of you. I've been telling you it's easy and now you're seeing and believing. One thing about me, I'll never lie to you, even if it stings a little. Also, for those of you who have purchased my caregiver guide, forget me not. Oh, I gotta reach it. Come on, I gotta reach it. <laughs> it would mean a ton to me if you would go to Amazon and drop me a review. I would really be honored if you would do that for me. You're so awesome. Thank you. Man, I could go on all day about how great you guys are, but let's hit stage four. So, like I mentioned before, we're going to be discussing the seven-stage model based on the GDS or the Global Deterioration Scale. If your loved one is in stage four, this is when a definitive diagnosis of Alzheimer's or another dementia would be possible. Diagnostic testing can include uh, blood tests, brain scans, cognitive testing, family history, and genetic testing. A diagnosis is not possible with one visit. So hopefully by now you've had multiple visits with the neurologist or the geriatrician. Keep in mind that a diagnosis of a particular type of dementia may change over time as symptoms present themselves and doctors are gathering more information. The specific type of dementia might change. 
and mixed dementias are also becoming very much more common. It's frequently found that after autopsy that more than one form of dementia was present but not diagnosed. You know, it's so easy for me to sit here and tell you that these are the symptoms of this stage and these are the symptoms of that stage, but it's important that you remember that people with dementia will fluctuate between the stages and they will have multiple symptoms from multiple stages. And so it can get a little difficult sometimes to pinpoint exactly which stage your person with dementia is currently in. So bear that in mind that your person probably will show symptoms from more than one stage at a time. The person who is showing symptoms at this stage of their dementia journey will have a decreased knowledge of current events and more recent events that they have experienced. So their short-term memory will have a noticeable decline. So they may forget what they had for a recent meal or what they did yesterday. They may not remember having phone conversations or visits from family or friends. You will probably notice that the person with dementia in stage four will start having problems recalling details of their medical history and they can also start showing difficulty remembering some of their own personal history and recalling specific details about their past. The next symptom is when the person with cognitive difficulties may start getting lost or turned around in unfamiliar places. Notice I said unfamiliar. So normal places that they go and they're used to frequenting, frequenting, they shouldn't be getting lost. But if they go somewhere that they're unfamiliar with, they could get turned around. A warning sign of this could also be noticed if the person goes for a walk or runs an errand and they're gone for an extended period of time. So in other words, if they go out by themselves and that trip seems to take much, much longer than usual, this would be a concern. During stage four, you might notice that your person with dementia is starting to struggle with the finances. They could get confused with paying the bills. They could double pay bills or be late on their payments. They might not be able to write out a check. They might need some help with the date or filling in the numbers on the check, or they might have trouble balancing the checkbook and subtracting the totals. Struggles with financial statements and bank statements and billing, bill paying is something that is fairly common and pretty easily recognizable. And speaking of recognizable, at stage four, the person with dementia is still recognizing the faces of their friends and family and loved ones. However, if they are newly introduced to others due to the brain damage of their short-term memory, they will have difficulty recognizing people that they have just been introduced to, like at a party or a celebration. Some other symptoms that show up in stage four would be problems with language and words. The person with cognitive difficulties may have trouble finding the right word. They will also start showing a decreased ability to solve problems tasks that involve a little bit more bandwidth will start becoming a problem, like maybe ordering dinner from a really large menu or sequencing and following things like a grocery list at the grocery store. These types of tasks may become more difficult. At this point in the disease process, people with dementia may be starting to withdraw from social situations. And this is usually because they find these situations and social settings a little bit more challenging for them. In many cases, they know that they're not quite up to par and maybe if they're doing like volunteer work, they might be afraid that others will notice that they can't keep up with tasks that they normally were able to do with ease. So you can see that there are quite a few symptoms that start appearing at stage four. And this is typically when a person with dementia, you're going to start needing some assistance and guidance from others. This can be difficult for the person with dementia who may be in denial and they want to remain independent. 
and may start resenting you when you're just trying to help. Please try not to take this too personally. Give them time to adjust. This is a huge blow to their independence and it's gonna take some time. So try to give them space and when you're helping, try not to be bossy and let them know that you will do everything in your power to support them. These early stages of dementia are when people can get depressed, anxious, and have mood swings. So try to be supportive as best you can. If you'd like to learn more, I have so many free resources for you on my website, answersaboutalz.org. Please feel free to visit that website and download whatever materials you feel that you could use. And take a look at some of the compact courses that I offer. You can learn a lot, lot more from those more intensive training videos. They're there to help you, and I'm here to help you. Get the book if you haven't gotten it already. I'm sure I got a few people out there I can sell my book to. <laughs> and um, thank you so much for joining me today. Subscribe and share the channel with your friends, and I can't wait to see you next time. Together, we can. You too can have these amazing results, guaranteed. Join us in disrupting the memory care industry once and for all. To see if you qualify for our program, go to AnswersAboutALZ.org and book an inquiry call.